Kellogg's workers ended their strike against the cereal maker on Tuesday after more than two and a half months on the picket line. The bakery, confectionery, tobacco workers and grain millers international union said workers voted to approve a new five-year collective bargaining agreement with the company. The vote was held on Sunday and the ballots were counted on Tuesday. Anthony Shelton, the union's president, said in a statement that workers courageously stood their ground and secured a contract that makes gains and does not include any concessions. The strike involved 1,400 workers at four facilities in Battle Creek, Michigan, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Omaha, Nebraska, and Memphis, Tennessee, significantly cutting back production of household name cereal brands like Rice Krispies and Corn Flakes. One of the main sticking points in the dispute was the company's two-tier compensation system that divides workers into two different classes, legacy employees and transitional employees. Legacy workers enjoy a higher pay scale and better benefits than their transitional counterparts. The agreement does not end the two-tier system, but offers a path for some transitional employees to graduate into the legacy tier. Employees had recently voted down an offer from the company, after which Kellogg's threatened to permanently replace them with other workers. This is a developing story and will be updated.